So let's just have a look. So we need to do the window up here. And at some point we need to add all these uh, small finishing pieces like, I, I don't even know what they call these things they add at the roof. And then we need to do this front porch piece with a couple of of uh, poles that are holding the roof and so forth. Um, so let's just uh, start out on the on the window here at the top. It's going to be made exactly the same way as um, as the rest. So let's see if we can find a good spot for this. Okay. <clears throat> so we can see that it's a uh, it's a rounded thing, and it has here we can see that it has a few steps, and then it has like a top part and some other pieces. So if I just start on the main part. I'll do a cylinder. There. And uh, okay, so this this is a. Uh, this is not a standard cylinder. This is uh, the settings from the from the temple thing. But never mind. I'll put it out here and change the settings. So I'll make the radius one and the height two, perhaps, and the subdivisions. So something like this. This this starts to look fairly nice. Um, I'll also make the subdivisions at the caps zero, so I'll just get one plane because it's easier when I need to select it. I can just right click and click the end plane. Whereas if it's if it's created with subdivisions, then all of these are single faces. Then I need to do things like uh, select vertex in the middle, and then hold Control, right click, go um, to faces, and then it will select it. So, but it's easier to just have one face there, like so. Okay, and then I need to place this. So we move it into the roof like this. That is uh, okay. And then it was scaled a little like, like so, something like that. And then we had the inset pieces. So I select this one and go. Extrude and then offset it in a little bit there and do another one, pull it in a little bit again. So basically, I'm just repeating uh, an extrude. There we go, and then have the last one there, something like that. That's not too bad. And then for the top part, <coughs> we have this thing going up here. Oh, I could actually do that as a separate piece, or I can do it like this. I just select this one, and then I double click the one across while holding shift, and it will select the whole range across. And then I can extrude, and it will be, oh, that was not the right one. Go. Extrude it out like this. Um, so that's pretty easy. Um, the only thing is now that uh, these steps are actually <coughs> too broad when I compare it to the the photo. They're thinner here. Um, so to fix that, I go into my extrude here, and I can see I have a. Uh, a setting of an offset and I'll just make that smaller so instead of 0.1 I'll make it 0 0.05 so that will make it half like so you can see this got thinner and I'll do the same thing for not the next one because that's just uh, this thing going in but the next again uh, where it this should be an offset of I got the wrong one there we go Set this one to 0 0.05, and then the final one must be that one 0 0.05. Okay. 
So you can s oh, that looked weird. What happened there? That looked really strange. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a local translator up there. That should go away. I don't know where that came from. Like so. Okay, so this, uh, this looks pretty much like what I wanted. And uh, maybe we need to scale the whole thing. Like so, to make it a little less extreme. So something like that. And then I can just leave it there. Uh, I don't need to boolean this because I can just uh, put a black sheet on the back side of this. There's no need to be able to see into the house. Otherwise I could of course do a new cylinder that had somewhat the same shape and then do the boolean for that. I'll, I'll just leave it at this. Uh, on some of these windows it has like the cross and uh, I think on some of them it it had no it has them, all of them. Okay, so I'll just add that. Oh, there we go. <coughs> just a cube. Move it up. And out. And one one way that is uh, simple to add something like this to an object is simply to select the cube, shift select the object you want to center it on, parent it. And when this was uh, made as a, as a primitive, it will be centered. And now the coordinates for this cube will be rel relative to where this is positioned. So if I just zero out all of the translate here, it will be placed right in the middle. And then I can just scale this, place it like so. And we can just, we can either make two that are crossing or if we're a little lazy, we can just select all four here. There, and then go extrude. And then in the extrude settings over here, we can just set it to, instead of have keep faces together to on, we set it to off. And then we get this. Just drag it out. Something. Just do something like this. It's still too big, so I'll just scale it down a little bit. Yep. And then put it in there. That's fine. Just make it slightly bigger. There we go. And then we have some vertices over here and over here. And I'll just scale them in like so. And we can just put it there. So that looks fairly okay. And the nice thing here is if I select the whole thing and I then scale it, everything will move with it. So I can just make it any size I think it will fit. Yeah, so maybe this is the right size and put it in just need to have it there good the next part is uh, this uh, front porch um, but actually to do that I, I should probably just look at doing uh, the whole foundation of the house so under the whole house we have this like raised part um, so I could just draw a polygon from the top where I would have the ground plane of the house plus the porch area so if I just go to top view and I didn't look at it like this I can just go to wireframes and I go to my polygon menu polygon menu and go create polygon tool and I'll just snap these so I'll just hold the X key and I'll just make something 
that is outside what I need. So it'll be like. this okay so obviously this is not exactly the shape I need but I can then go and grab the vertices and then just pull them in they should probably be like here and the same thing over here I just go by the position of the windows because they should be just inside the, the lower wall and I need these two here and move them over there or maybe just in the middle here actually and let's see that one shift select this one and then move that in there somewhere and uh, maybe this should be a little wider let's just have a look so now it ends up just at the end of the window, although my window is placed a little further in. So I'll just leave it out. I'll just put it there. That's good. <coughs> okay. So I have this thing here. And I probably need to just move my ground down a little bit. There. And I move this down to the bottom. It should be just at the bottom of the house. Yeah. And then of course I'll extrude this down like this. If I want to, I can do it in steps like this. So have it down a little bit and then a, a bit more. So maybe I should do that. So just do, do it like that. And then do an extra one and then do a little offset. That's probably too much, like 0.1 there and then do another one where it goes down a little bit and do another one where we offset it out like minus point one and then the final bit where it's going down like there okay. And then maybe I made this too uh, too thin over here, but that that's basically uh, the way I approach that. So again, Oop. just so that it cuts the bottom there. Something like that. So already the house is. Uh, it's looking a bit more like this. Ah, this thing up here should probably be slightly bigger. So, so that's it's pretty close. I just need to build the the top part here later. But uh, I'll leave it at that for now. So, the foundation part and then the top window, and then in the next session we'll look at how to create the the roofing out here.